since we have such an access to the people around us, to their cell phones, like facial recognition, so now we start giving them salaries, names, stuff like that. You can interfere with any phone conversation and listen to them on both ends. Hey, what's up? Let's just go out and find something. I'm done for whatever. If he hacks your phone, he can get your bank account, so you can go to the next ATM and, and get this character's money. But when you go to the bigger hack, like stuff like uh, overeating steam pipes, creating entire blackouts, like for example, traffic lights, it's pretty easy actually to do from proximity in real life. We discovered that pretty quickly. Just imagine shutting down the whole grid, the, the whole electrical grid of the US for 24 hours, or hacking uh, the GPS satellites and changing the time into them so that everything is uh, desynchronized. Uh, planes would fall down from the sky. I think we've been pretty lucky as of yet. Uh, the white hat community, the good hackers, the ethical one, uh, are working really hard in the shadow to protect us. They, they, they found a lot of uh, exploits, lots of uh, holes in securities, and they communicate with the companies to fix them. Uh, and we haven't seen anything large scale in terms of hacking. However, we know that China is developing a section of its army uh, for cyber warfare. We know the states are doing the same. Hopefully with watchdogs we'll be able at least to ask the question and people will start thinking about their data and what they do with that and what they do with their phones and especially when they click accept terms and agreement to have a little thought about what it means.